Hello everyone, and welcome back to Amateur Hour Projects. Today, we're going to take a look at... Ooh, get back here. A 3D paper giraffe by Nicole Paper. So, a friend of mine recently went on a trip to Canada and saw this and picked this up for me. And this looks pretty neat. Uh, looks like it is in Korean, so I probably won't be able to read any of the instructions, but hopefully they've got pictures that I can follow along. So let's go ahead and open this up, and we'll take a look inside. Okay, so looking at the instructions, it doesn't look too complicated, at the very least. The paper seems a uh, little thick, a little sturdy, so hopefully it will stay together or uh, not break apart or anything like that. And the instructions do say to use some glue, so I just got some old uh, clear Elmers. Hopefully this works just fine. We'll, we'll see though. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so let's talk about this for a little bit. This was an incredibly long, long build. I did not expect this to take quite as long as it did. I was expecting maybe two hours to build this thing. Nine and a half hours later, I'm done. I was <laughs> very surprised. So let's talk about quality first. So the paper quality was very good. I was not really afraid of uh, ripping or breaking anything throughout most of it. So that's good. Also, I didn't get any paper cuts from it. Also a plus. All in all, the quality of this particular build was very good. Now the instructions. The instructions were vague pictures. It said, put tab with tab. There are markers on the tabs themselves, so you do know which ones to put them next to, but it still was vague enough that it could be uh, one tab up or one tab down in position. Luckily, the printing quality was very high and all the spots lined up with each other. I don't think there was a single part of the build where the pattern did not match up with another part. So I was very impressed with that. But other than that, like what little instructions there were was in Korean with English underneath it, an English translation. But even so, it didn't really tell me what to do. At certain part points in the instructions, it would specifically say to glue pieces together. But it never said to glue everything together throughout the rest of it, like all the little tabs to keep them together. However, however, I'm not entirely sure that the giraffe would have held together on its own fully just by the friction of the tabs being next to each other.
because there's a few parts that they don't necessarily interlock with each other, but they're just kind of next to each other. And it does not specify to glue them together. So I don't know if I spent nine and a half hours gluing all these pieces together when I wasn't supposed to. Or when I didn't have to, at least. Now, I will say that gluing them all together did make them make the connections a lot stronger. It made the whole model at the end feel a little bit more put together. But it was still it was still a huge struggle. And I know I'm going really quick here in the edit, but you can kind of tell every now and then that I, I'm just waiting for glue to dry so I can go on to the next piece. Or it just doesn't stick together, so, it, so I have to re-glue it or take it apart and try again. And this mane was very difficult to keep together. I, I I don't imagine that being unglued and trying to do this. That would have just fallen apart completely. Now I don't have much else to say about it, other than it was just exhausting. But overall, I think I did enjoy it, despite spending way too long on it. A lot longer than I was expecting, as I said before. And. It didn't even occur to me until I was gluing the very last pieces together at the very end that I was doing it wrong. If I was, I still don't know. But I don't see any other way of putting this together other than gluing every piece together. But I'm just gonna let the rest of it play out I don't have much more to say about it, except once again a huge thank you to my friend, who is now unfriended in real life, for this wonderful project that she gave to me. So enjoy!
And here we have it, the paper giraffe, done as best as I could. That took quite a long time to build, a lot longer than I was expecting, but overall, I like it. Perhaps not the entirety of the building it, 
because I'm not 100% sure if I followed the instructions correctly, but they were vague. But here we have it. She is uh, quite majestic. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Tell me if you've ever done one of these before. And let me know if I was following the instructions wrong or not. And if you have any other suggestions on, on what to do on this channel, go ahead and let me know. And as always, thank you very much for joining. Hope you have a great day.